So today, uh, my semester, summer semester just ended. And um, it's been a, a like a, a quick sprint. Um, three months already has passed and um, I'm done with uh, my first semester here. And it's quite an experience because you kind of, um, you're, you're kind of reliving your college days. <laughs> it's like you went back in time and you have the wisdom that you have. So it's kind of um, just like reliving it. And uh, just want to, it's, it's like your second chance, right? So you just want to like improve. So kung hindi ako nag-aaral masyado before, ngayon parang I have to, uh, of course I have to, but um, more focused. Yeah, more focused. <laughs> And uh, I think I, I grew um, as a person here, um, really move, as you can say. Um, and, and it's something that I kind of um, envisioned when I was um, um, planning to go here. And uh, that's uh, in line with the uh, questions Question from um, Likha. Are you there? Friend of the podcast. Um, and 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 good good friend Likha, really uh, someone that has helped the podcast a lot. So he asks, um, what's the the mental fortitude it takes to leave home and start a new overseas? So, yeah, I w- I was saying that it kind of. What what I'm experiencing experiencing right now, like moving, like um cooking, you know, um doing my laundry, um cleaning my room, um going to the gym, um building a habit, a study habit again. So those things and and work, um those things I envisioned myself doing when I was back back home it's like the the it's the experience that um I needed to grow and um it might may it might be um it might be um very basic <laughs> very very basic for some um But it's something that um how would say it's something that I I had to do. And you might say, oh just why not just live in Manila and um, you can still be like do all those stuff, like be be independent and move as you say. Um but it, it's it's kind of um because of the comfort of home. Like I always knew that um, if Manila was too tight, I could go home, right? Feel comfortable. And um, yeah, I think it's something that I needed to to do. Plus, when when the opportunity was given to me to to go here, um, that was twenty. Uh, December of 2020, yeah, COVID. So I kind of, kind of pushed me really to to think about going here because I kind of wanted a fresh start. I really don't want to go back to um Manila and start there and do the the cycle all over again, right? So. When yeah, when the opportunity came, I kind of just grabbed it. Really didn't think much about 
yeah, they didn't really think much about it. So at the back of my mind, um, I kind of wanted to grow because I was also planning to resign initially with my previous work because I wanted to um try to dip my toes to marketing or advertising. So I wanted um kind of wanted that um change of scenery. Um, and then COVID happened. Um, and then during COVID, that's the time I resigned. Um, and then that was mid twenty twenty. And then um, when I was like looking for a new job, and I did, I did um, I was able to get hired in an ad agency. I I got the the change that I needed, right? Um then then the environment that I wanted to be in. So I got there. But it was COVID, so it was work from home. And um so so th that came and then the opportunity for Canada came. And uh, I just said, yes, yeah, I want to go. Because I really want to go back to Manila after COVID, right? Um, because I got scared. Scared of what if I get sick in Manila and that would be, uh, that will be um, exhausting, right? So yeah, that that's how that's how it came. Um, that's where my mindset was during that time. So I was um already looking for a new environment. Um, I was looking for um growth, and um, it just so happened that um the opportunity to go to Canada came, but it was a long process. Um, it took us a year to actually move on the needle. So it was a uh, twenty uh, early twenty twenty two last year that we just really um got that um the documents and stuff. But I got delayed, got delayed and delayed, and that's a no whole other story. So comment below if you wanna. Like um uh, continue the timeline on what on what happened. Um so that was a start. That was a start, yeah. That's where I was. And um yeah. Funny nung when you envision kind of envision where you wanna be and your decisions, it aligns with the visions. <laughs> Now amazed now. I'm 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 amazed. Like I didn't really realize that it will be here in Canada that I will um find that that push to grow. And I think I am. My 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 mind my mindset right now is is if it's convenient for you, then you're not growing. So if I want if when I I'm tired and I don't want to move if I don't want to like go to class or like I ha I'm having thoughts of um the the, the hassle of working <laughs> right so that's inconvenient right why can't I have just the money or um why do I have to work and stuff like that so I can just quit right Quit work, just not work anymore and stuff. But that, but that's the comfortable way, right? And that means I'm not growing. <laughs> Babo, pero that's that's how I I think right now. <laughs> if it's convenient for me, and then I have to rethink it. I have to be in. I have to be in a situation where I, I'm in, in. I'm in, and I'm in, in the inconvenience. <sighs> Yeah. And uh I think it 
I think that's the right thing for me right now. If I want to grow 